what's good you guys welcome back to my youtube channel it is i your girl longstar leo so if you're new here hi and welcome please do click that subscribe button like and also comment and don't forget to click that notification bell honey for you to get notified whenever i upload a new video so guys as you can tell by the title of this video today we're having a story time <laughs> of which it's been a while but yeah, today is a lot different because now I have to share with you guys something that's very personal to me. So I really hope that you guys will engage with me in this video and also you will enjoy this video. Right, so without further ado, let's get right into this video. <laughs> Today we'll actually have a mukbang, so I'll be having noodles, and I'm also having my brutal fruit. Right, clinking, <laughs> guys. I learned to lay shoes, and so I'm just going to so. Hi, guys. It is me, Jane Davim. So, um, I think it was back in. 20 Ooh, I think yeah it was 2018 yeah it was 2018 and I was 16 I was 16 years old <laughs> yo man you should have yeah so I have yo but again nonetheless I was 16 years old it was 2018 and I found out that I was pregnant Right, so how did I actually find out? Ne? Well, I actually found out um, four months later that I'm actually pregnant. And what had happened was I started, I want to like more feel a nar. Mm. Feel a nar, like you want nje, fuck all. You want nothing. So that's how I started. Uh, that's how I started feeling, and then I started eating a lot. I had like way too much appetite. I wasn't vomiting, mind you. I need to ask guys because I'm a pregnant sugar. Some vomit, some do you know, you know, some lose weight, some gain weight. So Mina, I was just moody. I had fifty thousand moods. <laughs> And um, I just I didn't want to tell anyone at home because now I was alvanjan guys. So I just decided to tell my friend Woody Ishman. Has something something is fishing. Jay, something something is wrong somewhere. And then she was like, you know what? Let's go buy a pregnancy test. Mm -hmm. Now I I was so broke. Hmm. It's in my naughty friend that like she's my ex friend right now, but we're besties then. So I was very broke, guys, and the pregnancy test was like, yo, sixteen rands, yo, tava having a nice sixteen rand, yo, Nina, yo. So my friend actually bought the pregnancy test for me at this other drugstore. Hi, it was fine because pregnancy test, pregnancy test. So well, um, I took the test. I was very grateful. Yo, so much. Till today, I'm very much grateful. And then I went at home. So the following day, I actually took the test, and voila, <laughs> I was um, I was pregnant. I found out that I was pregnant, and my world started falling apart. It was very sad. I started crying like I literally cried my eyes out. Yo, mm -mm. I was scared. Ogutin, endring bazotin, eka se bazotin like my community, like the Arangan bam bazotin. You know, like yo, there was a lot, nje. There was a lot. So I was, oh, I. I Ooh, in the bag of dollar, guys. Stories about like. So I decided to take to tell my third sister because Gitty is four. I'm actually the last born. I have three sisters, 
So I told my third sister because we used to stay in Lene one. I, will, I told her what's happening. Obviously, she became sad or mad or I don't even know, but she had mixed emotions about it. So she knew, but uh, really begged her. Hey, what's going on, my mom? Of which she didn't shim. So she sat down with me and she advised me, Guti, I need to go to the clinic and just get the pills that will take good care of the baby. Okay, remember, guys, I'm 16. Yo, like in your star, I'm too giddy. I'm still at school. Yo. Hi, shop again. I did that. I went to the clinic. I got everything that I needed to get, and yeah, they took me to sauna. And then that's where I found out that I'm four months pregnant. Yo, imagine. So, so I'm getting scars in Germany, and Hey, that's when I found out again. Um, I had to go back home and just sit my mom down and. Told him. I told him she was angry, she was sad, she was disappointed in me. Hmm. She just had a lot of things going on, but I'm so, 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 so grateful for my mom because she was able to calm herself down and wakul manam Mind you, like Navaza was a lava street, guys. I want a law in Jay, Nanoma, Ubuzi, door in Jay, who was a spark of a cocker, which is yea. Don't look, we are shy, you're straight in any day. So I was very shook actually that how was the other come, Jomo girl? There's a lot, but I was grateful at the same time. So again, um, I, she spoke to me, she told me, you could so, I was like, so, I was like, I was like, and then she asked me, what did I actually do to find out, and I told her everything. Obviously, she was concerned as a mom, she asked me how many weeks, and then I told her that I'm actually four months pregnant. How about my mom, good time. Five months lost over Saga Bonaga. No, no, Miss Lenjin, Chelubaba kept fast. I begged my mom, like Nakutana, my doll, and Stolon, and Chel, yo, Stolon, and Chel, Tellas Bonel, a campan, yo, campan, Shem, yo, my dad. Yo, I, till today, I'm very much scared of my dad. I, my dad is very, very strict. I get. Unfortunately, <laughs> my mom actually told my dad, and obviously my dad also got mad, but as he, they both didn't react the way I was expecting them to actually react. So they were very, very calm about the situation. They understood the situation, and... Hmm. What's in your Sting a family meeting. Yo. I'm going to tell you something. And their husbands, you I mean, deep, 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 deep shit. Hi again, now they came. Guava Ileo, family meeting. My second sister just. Like, one When she first heard that I'm pregnant, one girl, and she. Why need to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I will never forget that day, Shem. Wang Tapa, Ang Sas Noma, Kale, Oring Manga, Le, Oring Yo, but Chung Tapeng Yem Tama, it hot, guys. Hey, okay. Eventually, everyone just accepted that I'm actually pregnant. So my mom and my dad were actually there throughout the entire pregnancy. I had complications, obviously. Like, I had full support from both my parents, I don't wanna lie. My son, my son was born, and that was the moment, like, loving me. I was alone. Mm, 
I was actually insert a picture here. Like I was alone. Okay, I do know what you have to be alone, obviously. Kuleba what nan nan. But after giving birth, guys, do you know how sad it is? Uti and then Moti we are beggar. There's families there. Like Mazo will come a new member of the family, you know. They brought food for Ukeli. You know, like Moti are beggar, Jenanjalo and Jalo, there's families and me I'm just sitting there with my newborn hungry no family just alone that is the saddest day of my entire life yo it is just me and god and my son Jika. and guys again when i actually found out because i'm pregnant i told the baby did yes i told him guess what he did he denied it he denied the pregnancy and yo I was very and Kevin J my world just fell apart on that day because now I'm 16 I'm not working I'm still a student and then when uh, you sleep with me and then after you, dis you decide to deny the pregnancy and you are like, how old was he? I think he was 23 or something, 22, uh, just somewhere there, ne? somewhere in Apple, 25. But Begala, sorry, Begala, Apple. So he actually denied the pregnancy. So you can imagine, what I'm under a lot of pressure. Ne? Sorry. So I was alone, Lapo, after giving birth. I had to at least call my mom or yeah, I actually called my mom. I told her but like I'm dying. Okay. Yeah, my mom said, okay, as in I'll just guys I know what I'm telling this story differently from other story times because this is very sentimental to me like it's very personal and it hurts me so if nje anyeng is any very emotional i then i'm very strong shame <laughs> because i'm still dealing with the pain till today yeah well, so i'm hoping that i actually don't cry <laughs> yeah guys so my mom told my dad Guti. my mom told my dad that he has he actually has to bring me food because i'm hungry and the only thing that i was actually craving on that day was spaletta like spaletta cream soda ne? yo i wanted the coldest one ever yo i told my mom please <laughs> so my Dad actually did that and he bought me the driest bag ever. They dry that bag. I'm not going to use the bag so we can pay for it. They dry. And then I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to pay for it. I'm weak. I'm going to pay for it. But yeah, I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> he bought me a bag. And bought me that um, cream soda shop uh, I had to stay back because now they have to check the baby na 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 with me never check yo guys this is TMI ne? but if I have to tell you my sister you have to know hmm? guys keep hanjay drop your calm do you understand? Just a drop me and I'll come. <laughs> yo, yo, that thing is painful. Who's a mati? Has a pillow come with the back station after giving birth. This is TMI, Baba. If our phone goes on the part, skip. But I mean, I'm going to tell her about it. After giving birth, back station. It depends what you have to cut or have a cut. But back station. And then you made it. Like you have to do number two, 
lapho esibhalela ngokwethiniki and then you have to pee food without you doing those things i'll have be because they now need to see who you can actually do this because if you can't show to so hlala when a month and months uma ikhiphe lendlela number 2 kanjani yabo so yeah they actually did that and also for the baby too they have to check who the baby can actually do number 2 and number 1 and who to right to help yabo Okay, the following day, everything of mine was fine. I got discharged. I went back home. Everyone was happy with my baby. Nana, we were celebrating. And not like celebrating good manji party. Nana, like ukbon anji my level twin. That was enough for me. Yabo, because I actually made it back. Like I made it back. Yabo. So I came back home. and my mom was happy she actually took my son um um they were like yeah wanna yeah wanna simba yeah wanna simba la fabulous king <laughs> that's that's actually what my mom did she took my son on paramisa so yeah <laughs> that is so funny she had to watch hi guys we got inside the house and yeah we're just jolly because now we have a new member of the family and you know, i won't say most of the things because now they are very personal and it's not kabana and i also don't want to expose people <laughs> yeah well so it's fine my son grew. my dad was actually the one supporting me because remember now i'm a single parent and i'm unemployed so after giving birth i gave birth in january in january 21st 2019 i was 17 by then ne i was 17 so i had to decide what am i going back to school or am i being a mom that was the toughest decision of my life but i chose to be a mom i had to drop out from school because i was a single parent and i had to do something to provide for this baby and also for myself you know so my dad was actually the one who was supporting me hi hi my dad was actually the one who has been supporting me from when the the baby was born day one up until 5 months ne My dad was the one who was buying me peas for my son, uh, milk, you know, things like that. And then me I just had to buy clothes, you know, those things in Jay is sane. I want to things like that. Ne? Up until he was 5 months. And then after 5 months, that's when reality started to hit me. Because my dad was like, ah, "I'm so tired. I'm no longer doing this anymore." I don't want to expose him the, like so much because there's something that he also did but I don't want to get much into it you know? So he was like you know what I'm just going to leave you and your baby to see yourselves out because I'm tired. Listen to this ya dura. I was like oh okay. No it's okay it's fine. So what my mom was helping me with actually was Yeah, so guys, I had to find ways to actually make money. So I started doing I started doing those network marketing things and they pretty much worked out just. Everything was okay, I guess. So I had no support from anyone else. So I was literally a single parent come up and I get much like for real for real. It was just me, God and my son. Like we go to Pella Ibis when a Pella Pampas. I had to see myself out. And it was hard. There were days where I would just Uzokhala umntana ngizokhala. 
there were days where I would feel so depressed and feel like like ending it, ending everything, like suicide. Yeah, I had suicidal thoughts and I was so depressed, guys. Like I was very much depressed. Yeah, one would see after giving birth, you have to melu bop. I need to see nan nan. Go to be righty nan nan. Go to like go as we are schooling or go as we are girl food so that you don't lose your body. Like that's what I'm trying to say. I didn't even want that because I had like no hope for life. I was so depressed. And funny enough, I I want the depression, but yeah, I want this. I didn't I didn't lose weight. Instead, I gained weight. I gained more weight. Yeah. I was like, 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 like, uh, are we gone? Because I can't, I can't. This challenge is way too big for me. <sighs> so, yeah, it was the most toughest days of my life. Yo, toughest. But I just. I wanna like more shala in tandas with them. Things just get better. I don't know how, but things got better, man. Mm. I'm trying not to cry. Things got better and God just had to Oh my god. Nazar, don't petition Oh my god, why am I being emotional now? Today, my son is five, <laughs> and I've grown, and I know Uguti. Like I feel like all, like everything that I've been through, ne, it was a test. I feel like God was actually testing me. <clears throat> I feel like God was testing me. And Jesus, do I really, really believe in Him? And do I really trust in him to save me, pull me through, or help me go through that um, situation? But I'm also grateful that, like, the way the situation is in my corner, I would have, because now I was on dating apps. I was like I had no hope, man. I didn't even know what to do. Like I would have given way, given way, but God decided to save me because that's not how my mom raised me, you know. Like I knew what I have so much potential, and I knew what God will never leave me. Those were some days where I would have hope and faith and trust. But most of the days I was so depressed. <laughs> yeah, I don't wanna lie. But yeah, like I said, my son is five now. And I'm grateful to have my son. I'm blessed to have my son, especially at that age, like I'm sharp, like I'm very much blessed. I tried to fight a situation with baby daddy. I took him to court. I think I do have a vlog about that. 
I took him to court, I did everything, and he breached the court contract or court order. Yeah, court order. He broke it, and I'm still fighting the matter till today. Till today, this guy wants DNA test over to this child is actually his so it's okay let him get it clear i mean i put it from the start i don't even want much from that guy i don't even want do you choose every month but Iba empilenum tuana, yezum tan gutaguas. Build that relationship with your son. That's all that I want. That's literally everything that I want. Money or no money, I don't care about that. Iba kona. Be there. Be a man. Be man enough to take responsibility for your actions. So, yeah, guys, that's my story. And I hope it touches someone about it. like someone who's actually in that situation right now. I don't know. I have mean, hope. There's hope. There's hope and yeah, Pella. Yeah, Zula little situation. Eventually it does, it really does. It's it'll be hard, very hard, but it can rule. What do they say? At the end of the tunnel, there's light. Ne? There's light at the end of the tunnel. There's sun at the end of the storm, right? Yeah, there is. So, yeah, guys, that's my video for today. Yo, I've never done such story time. You know how hyper I become, but today is a different one. So, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please do comment down below if maybe you have a sister or a cousin that's also going through the same thing. Maybe who's a single parent or who's like, oh, maybe a teenage pregnancy. Yeah, well, things like that, guys. We just need that community as women. You know, things like that. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and also uh, don't forget to click that notification bell for you to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And that's all from me, girl. And